Daniel Bryan loves wrestling, and when he was forced to retire by Vista Command due to having multiple concussions, Daniel Bryan took it upon himself to make it clear to everyone that he was not happy about not being able to wrestle anymore. On Talking Smack, and in many interviews, Bryan has ranted about the fact that he wishes he could wrestle somewhere else, like New Japan or Ring of Honor. But Vista Command will not allow him to wrestle because of the fear that he may get more concussions, and the fear that Daniel Bryan will sue WWE down the line if he gets more concussions in their ring. It's pretty clear that Daniel Bryan wishes he would have never come to the WWE. Paige wants out of WWE in the worst way. Her relationship with Alberto Del Rio has been one of the most controversial topics over the past year. Paige is planning on going into MMA and hopes to soon get out of her WWE contract. Deep down inside, Paige wishes that she would have never come to the WWE. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows may have won the Raw Tag Team titles recently, but that doesn't change the fact that their time in WWE has mostly been a flop. They were well utilized at first, when they were paired with AJ Styles, but when they broke up the club with AJ Styles, WWE tried to turn them into a comedy team when they feuded with The New Day. They have toned down the comedic aspects of the team, but I still think that Anderson and Gallows wish they would have stayed in Japan. Polo Cruz might smile all the time, but I think it's pretty obvious that he can't be happy about how his WWE run has gone so far. He's talented in the ring, and it's the type of physique that Vince McMahon likes, but that's where the positives end. He should have stayed in NXT for many years and created a character for himself, because Apollo Crews has been a total flop. If you have seen an interview with Dolph Ziggler out of character, he is very outspoken about how WWE uses him, and always goes out of his way to make it clear that he's not happy about his spot. His negative attitude about his WWE career has gotten him into trouble before with management, which has caused him to lose his push on multiple occasions. Dolph has made a lot of money in WWE, but it definitely seems like Dolph Ziggler wishes that he would have never went to the WWE. Hideo Itami, who was formerly known as Kenta, had a very successful career in Japan before coming to WWE, but ever since he's come to the WWE, he said injury after injury, which has sidelined him from NXT. Some people claim that the reason why he keeps getting injured is because the wrestlers he's working with are very inexperienced. If this is true, then he should have stayed in Japan, and he probably wouldn't have so many injuries. Sami Zayn's first year on the WWE main roster has been very rough. He's lost most of his matches, and he's definitely stuck in the mid-card. Occasionally, WWE will feature him in main events, but he always loses those matches. The Cruiserweight division and 205 Live have been a complete disaster. During the majority of the matches, crowds barely make any noise. There are probably many Cruiserweights who wished they would have never went to the WWE and just stayed on the Indies. Cesaro has always been in the mid-card of WWE. Cesaro is very talented, but Vince McMahon doesn't see him as a main eventer. Cesaro has been featured almost every week on Raw, and always gets great crowd responses. But for some reason, Vince doesn't seem to care. Cesaro has been vocal about his position in WWE in the past, and I think Cesaro probably realizes that he should have just stayed in Ring of Honor, or just went to New Japan Pro Wrestling. Tyson Kidd's career ended back in 2015, when he suffered an injury from a muscle buster given to him by Samoa Joe. Tyson ended up recovering from the injury, but WWE won't allow him to wrestle, and they are keeping him under contract because he was injured in a WWE ring, and they don't want him to take them to court. Tyson Kidd would probably still be wrestling if he would have never went to the WWE.